If you're on the market for some fishing clothes which are waterproof but aren't head to toe in camouflage, then Spiro may have you covered. Whether it's a shower like this, slightly heavier downpour, or your missus helping you film an intro to a carpology video, because for once the sun has started shining and you need some water and you're dousing my camera in water. <laughs> I think she enjoyed that a bit too much. Let's get into it. We're starting from head to foot, we'll go with the jacket first. Now this is the Adara jacket from Spiro, and hitting you straight away with the price, comes in at $89.95. Now the material itself is 100% nylon with a PU coating, so extremely water resistant. Now the actual rating of this is 10,000 millimeter hydrostatic head. To give you a bit more of an idea of what that means, it's exactly the same hydrophobicity as my bivy itself, and I trust this to uh, keep me dry even in the worst of weather, so that Basically, it's the same amount of protection as this, only it's wrapped around you in a jacket. So the worst of weather that can be checked at you, this will repel the water. Now my uh, partner, who's just dropped off a cup of tea for me behind the camera, will uh, vouch for the hydrophobic capabilities of this because she nabbed this off the back of the chair the other day before I'd even filmed it. She was going out for a walk and uh, she got caught in a thunderstorm. When she got back, she was soaked to the bone, except from where she was wearing the coat, which she was bone dry underneath. So uh, she's very taken with this coat already. So uh, proofs in the pudding, very, very uh, good at repelling the water and keeping you dry underneath. Now it's still breathable as well. It's still got 10,000 millimeter breathability. So what that means is although it's very waterproof, it's not gonna make you all clammy and hot inside. It can still let some of the air through and keep you uh, nice and refreshed underneath. You've got multiple pockets. So starting from the front, you've got a, uh, obviously the main zip that goes up and down. I say up and down because you've got a uh, two-way zip, so once you've zipped it up, you can actually release the bottom bit ever so slightly as well, which uh, came in handy for my partner because she's slightly wider hip than I am. She uh, won't like me for saying that, but um, if I had the same size hips as her, I'd be a little bit worried. Um, underneath, we've got a wind baffle as well. So uh, if the wind does start really pushing in, it's not gonna go through the zip and cause a, a gap or a, a break in the wind defense. Zips either side of the main zip for pockets around your chest, so perfect for putting a receiver in there or your phone, and then you've got your usual pockets down where you'd expect, sort of near your waist. Fully adjustable all the way around as well, you've got a toggles around the hem so you can pull it in around your waist, and you've also got adjustability on the hood, which is worth noting the hood is peaked as well, so it juts out ever so slightly in front of you, so if you are wearing this in the driving rain, you can still be able to see out nicely. And uh, you've also got pull strings around the hood so you can really hunk that in around you, and another one around the back to sort of snug it around your head. So if you want, you can make that as tight as you like around your head, if you'd want that. And you've also got fully adjustable cuffs, so these are Velcro, hook and loop, so that uh, again, if it's really driving rain or the wind's picking up, you can tighten that round to clamp down around your wrists, stop any kind of drafts and keep you nice and dry in the meantime. So there you go, that's the Adara jacket. And then we move on to the trousers. Now these are the Propus trousers and they come in at 50 pounds as of the point of filming from their website. Ever so slightly different material on these, you've got 100% polyester with a TPU membrane and a brushed finish. So, it was a slightly different material to what the coat is made of. As you can see, color-wise, it's pretty much a perfect match. And uh, what that means is that it's just ever so slightly different uh, properties. So you've got 3,000 millimeter hydrostatic head, so not quite as robust and heavy duty as the coat, but still plenty for uh, showers and things. And you've also got 3,000 millimeter breathability, so it's much more breathable as well. And uh, on the inside, to go with that, you've got a mesh lining on the inside, so it keeps it nice and airy on the inside. So uh, when you're wearing this, even in hotter weather, you can still get a nice bit of airflow around there. Now, a few other things to note on this is, the main thing actually, is the reinforced and slightly sturdier knee pads. Obviously, when you're fishing, a lot of the time you're kneeling, hopefully holding fish or just getting in and out your bivy, picking stuff up off the floor. It's a very much a, a stress point when you're fishing. So the fact that that's reinforced means that even if you are just kneeling down in the mud and doing all that sort of stuff, it's not gonna break down any quicker because it's reinforced compared to the rest of the trousers. You've still got multiple zips on these as well. So you've got two uh, of your standard zips that you'd expect right where you normally have them. And then you've got little zipped ones as well further down the leg on either side. Slightly elasticated waist. Now these are the medium size trousers. So just for a bit of reference, everything I've got with me today is medium coat and medium trousers and 6'1 
and probably pushing 14 stone now. And I've got a 34 inch waist and the medium fits me perfectly. So uh, that's the sort of size you want to go for if you're my size, of course. You've got a zipped front with double buttoned top. So it takes a lot of stress and strain to be honest and you can still put a belt on as well. So um, if you do get a size which uh, is slightly uh, testing your waistline, the double buttons and the zips means that it's uh, nice and strong. It's not going to break on you on a session. So uh, that's nice and it comes with a spare button as well, which is worth noting. So that's pretty much it with the uh, trousers. Nice and, uh, well, waterproof as you saw and you see from some of the shots, it still repels the water, just not quite as much as the coat, of course. So uh, it's not like uh, you can get in the lake and expect to have dry legs. And lastly, we move on to the Alcor boots. Now, you may look at these and think, oh, they don't look very fresh and new, and that's because they aren't. These are my own personal pair, which I've had for a year and a half or more now. They've done two winters. I've climbed up Penny Fan in Wales and lots of walks. I actually use these as my walking boots as well as fishing boots. So not only have they seen uh, the bank multiple times, uh, well, over the last year and a half or to close to two years, but they've also gone up mountains and at uh, several walks, and that's how much I rate them. So uh, yes, they may look a bit worse for wear, but there's still absolutely nothing wrong with them. I treat them the same as I would a bivvy every now and then, just give them a little bit of a fab seal upgrade just to uh, reinforce the water repelling properties of these. Now it is a waterproof boots, they're hydrophobic. It's actually called HydroGuard waterproof. So it's a thousand D Cordura material on the top, rubber soles, rubber bases. You've also got uh, reinforcements and stabilizers all throughout these boots to make them nice and sturdy. The backs of the heels actually uh, are reinforced as well, so they're, uh, everything's just built to last. And as you can see, and as I've just said, I've worn these so much and gone on lots of walks, nothing's breaking away, like none of the, uh, where the rubber joins the rest of the shoe, none of that's peeling away in these little gaps. It's all as solid as they were the day I got them. So I really do rate these from personal use and uh, opinion. They've got a heel stability, obviously, because you've got these bits that you can wrap your laces up around your heels. You make them nice and tight to give yourself ankle support. Great for slippery banks and, and clambering over rocks and things and walking up Penny Fan. I'm gonna keep saying that because I did climb a mountain. It's pretty much my only achievement since DOV at school. But there you are, those are the, uh, the shoes as well. So I really do rate these. And if these are anything to go by, I can guarantee that the trousers and the coat will last just as long as well. So they are definitely worth a look at. So for more information on these items and much, much more, please do head over to the Spiro Tackle website where you can find out all the specifications, size guides. They've got a, a size guide all on there. So although I've given you a reference of the stuff I've got with me today, it does give you all the size guide on the website as well. So much easier to check out on there. But for now, cheers for watching and I'll see you again soon.